Sometimes, IRL, things don't go so well. Get it? I get it. I oh, get it. my goodness. Oh. So what I'm trying to say is uh, we didn't record this, uh, we, didn't, we didn't record the video. <laughs> Nice, <laughs> nice soft lead-in to introduce the concept. Yeah, so we screwed up. Um, we're not exactly sure what happened, if it's as simple as I just didn't hit record, or if um, something went wrong, but whatever the case, this next episode has no game video, but we did try to do something. We, we sort of pieced together a, a visual that can hopefully keep you entertained, so apologies, hope you guys like it, and... Uh, and enjoy, right? Behold, for there is nothing finer on God's greenish blue earth than this thing that we put together for you. Huh. Did I sell it too hard? A tad. A touch. Well. Better start it now. <laughs> <laughs> We're back playing Child of Light on Instant Replay Live, and now it's time to delve into why Prometheus was the worst movie of all time. Or was it many, many good movies? What? I. I can't even begin to fathom your argument. Yeah, and I think it's, uh, you, you'll see now. Um, I keep bumping so, into things. <laughs> uh, what I like to say is, if you took out a lot of the scenes of Prometheus, a lot of them which didn't really add up together, you had the, the crazy scene where they went back to the ship and had this like poor beat em up moment when that guy came back transformed, yeah. or you had the really mysterious like philosophical scenes, if you cut these scenes and put them in a, like a, a short film festival, Oh they would yeah, be Vi little... visually they're fine. Well, I mean, even even some of them have have good ponderous questions, but they don't quite form a whole. And they were they were too much in prologue mode for Ooh, a letter. What would be a trilogy? But um, you know, uh, finding these these alien markings and uh, meeting this alien, all of it they they tell small good stories. Hmm. Um, and I can I can go back and watch a scene, especially the the scene where. She's sur uh, performing surgery on herself, um, and it's just really great little stuff. Some of it is maybe just visually powerful. Some Oop, of it, I missed a thing. It's suggestively powerful, but um, as a whole, it's bad. In small chunks, it does it executes its scenes very, very well. Yeah, I'm not gonna argue that point against you. I do think that it it has redeeming qualities. And you want to break those redeeming qualities into scenes that make little mini films. That okay, sure. But how about the fact that nothing in that plot makes any sense? What how about the fact? About? Okay. A man drank some weird tea and died in the in the water. Okay. All right. <laughs> to get more to the real point, <laughs> everything in that movie—I just wanted to go back and see that peculiar shrine—sets <laughs> um, up a concept. You guys are the chosen people to go out on this journey to meet alien life or, or visit an alien civilization that may be, you know, whatever, blah, 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 alive or dead. Um, too bad that we apparently picked morons. They set them up as experts in their fields, and every single person is shown failing at what they're supposed to be good at. I make maps of places with my 3D projecting robots. Too or bad. the zoologist who touches the... Uh... Exactly. He gets com The map guy gets completely lost. The zoologist acts like an animal that is clearly giving an aggressive defensive display, wants to be touched, and then he gets, you know, face slapped by a vagina penis. <laughs> um, Eloquently put. Uh, it, it, that whole movie betrays itself over and over again. And... I'm constantly taken out of it because it doesn't have any internal consistency. Um, that and it doesn't set up a threat anywhere equivalent to Alien. And That's I know it, the sti there's a really sticky area of it being a prequel because it's not like officially a prequel. It's made by Ridley Scott and it's I'm, I'm talking too much and not moving around the game world. <laughs> it It's a prequel in everything but direct continuity. Sure. But, oh, what is this lady? I like her anglerfish head. Um, oh, it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like hey, you. lady. <laughs> um, all right, well, do I get to do this voice? You've had, you've had a fair number of other voices. Or... I mean, you get the main character. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> Have you the sun or the moon within this well? 
Hurrah, princess, you came. Most certainly not. <laughs> can't you see? Oh, I can't see. I'm all alone again. My grandpa and I have casters. Fire. And I have casters. Oddly fitting for a, an old Greg <laughs> statement. Yeah. Keep, keeping the village safe from demise. I left a couple of days ago. Oh, is that a, I had to replenish the supplies. And Zounds, the Dark Queen cursed my kin to birds. The water of Leth would cure him on. But I like, I have to make the journey down. Man, <laughs> this is hard to read. You have to get as close to the water of Leth as you can uh, without getting wet. That's right, that's right. But Fia has... Poor man. <laughs> I like to believe that she didn't really listen. She's I know, she was just like... He's rambling. I am, Poor guy. I am having trouble with this guy. Um, Finn's plight. Open the inventory menu. Boop, boop, boop. Help Finn and find the water of this source. The Capoli transformation to force. Um, we found... You mentioned the confessions. Yeah. And we kind of said that they're probably not worth going into on the show. But do we want to maybe do one reading? Yeah, okay, sure. It's, uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty intense. Love dissolves in the daylight. Lost night's scent. A hand open in the candlelight begs. Mine, I turn away. Wick burned down to the dregs. Czars, Kaisers, Princes, their charms on me spent. At dawn my heart returned to what was lent. Not to what was lent, what was lent. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I, I'm so good at this. <laughs> Time's harsh touch owns me, whipping at my legs. The secret steps ahead, guilt to me time pegs. To abate Lemuria's, Lemuria's fast descent. I feel like I'm really not hitting the pattern, the, 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 it's, it's the hard, vocal yeah, pattern. It's, no, I mean, it's one of those things, I think, when you read ahead. Uh, mm -hmm. The Shakespearean play, you gotta know the words. Yeah. Um, um, but day has its shadows, nooks under rocks. Someone no secrets knew who explored not. Time has its watchmaker, can stop all clocks. A meek duke trembling, gentle hands drawn. One dance banished all light and night caught. You stood in the way and eclipsed the dawn. Yeah, so these confessions paint a, the big pre-picture before sure. your character arrives. Um, and they don't really do anything that, that kind of says a particular statement about, you know, what's going on. They're very vague. And oh man, when you read them all, it's just like, wow, this, this, this fairy tale land is very bleak. But then you have the, 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 this character being the child of light. Uh, really, really uh, great tones. Um, clashing against each other with this game. Nice. So, to follow up with her inability to really pay attention to this guy, he's like, he's pouring his heart out about how he's afraid. You said you can cast spells? <laughs> I, princess, I'm one of the best. In the well, we'll be put to the test. Hurrah, Finn here. Aurora, do not call me princess. <laughs> okay, Finn has joined the party. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> For down. those of you who haven't seen Old Greg somehow at this point in time, yeah. uh, definitely worth watching. The Mighty Boosh. Going down into the well. <laughs> Gonna get wet. Do you remember the well times? Uh, it was really time so much as a video game dungeon. <laughs> nice. Well done. Ooh. So I'm just, like, carrying around a dwarf and a jester now, like, with my flying powers? Sure. <laughs> also, we've been completely derailed from our heated discussion. Uh, uh, oh, whatever. Discussion. I'm tired of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm right, then. I said I'm tired of it. It's so yeah, bad. You're exhausted because I was so right. Uh, is this just like all the other spiders? Do we want to bother? Nah, I just go past it. All right. You, oh, oh, it? Uh, get that. Hookah, hookah. Rough ruby. All right. All right. The waters of Leith. Select party to swipe swap. What? <laughs> oh, you can you can change out party members at any time. So you can um. What's the oh and this? <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, yeah we got to bring Finn out and see what his his jank is. Do you love me? He, do you cast some spells for me now? Do you love me? <laughs> I, w I will agree with you, though. Uh, yeah, just to close close off our discussion on Pandora, 
a Pandora. Pa- um, <laughs> on a Prometheus. Prometheus. Um, the the film had a very scattered sense of identity. Um, it at times wanted to be this ponderous sci-fi movie, and at other times it wanted to be this kind of uh, horror flick. Yeah. And it bounced back and forth between the two so much that it never really made any progress in either. It never landed. Yeah. Um, and that that was what really killed it overall. Oh, in addition to all the minor issues, some of those issues with with those B characters, I could have forgiven had the rest of the movie been constructed a little bit better. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, even if we just had a strong plot with the central characters, yeah, then it would have it would have made up for a lot. But even the the central character just did dumb things or didn't feel I don't know, maybe they were trying to go for the everyman feel for her, but she just didn't feel like anyone I cared about at any point in the movie. She was not quite um, Ripley. No, because you definitely care about her, you know. And, and I guess there's an unfair advantage with Ripley because it's like, wow, it's it's a woman in a, a like devastatingly powerful role for a time when that wasn't happening. Um, but we don't get... It's very fitting, actually, talking about female protagonists yeah. in Child of Light because she's an awesome female protagonist. But uh, we'll talk more about female protagonists next. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, next time on It's a Replay Live. Right on. Oh no. We have to get out of here. No, I'm very worried that we didn't record that episode. <laughs>